Hey everybody, Dr. Pancake Face here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to stealth the Alesso heist. Now for this heist, we have uh, a bit of a complicated heist. Um, basically what you're doing is you just go in, you're going to find a couple of security rooms with C4 in them. Um, and once you, once you find that, then you have to go down into the parking area, into the basement, um, plant some C4 using a forklift to drive around. Uh, then you go all the way back up to the top again. We're going to hit some pyrotechnics buttons, which will mask the explosion of the C4 that we found. Uh, once we're done with that, then we go back down to the bottom, use a cutter, cut into the bottom of the vaults that were there to, to rob, uh, bag up the money, and then take it to the exit. Sounds relatively easy, <laughs> but I can guarantee you it's not. <laughs> So, so, assets. Um, really the only things you're going to want are body bags and extra cutter. The rest is doctor bag, grenade case, and ammo. Ah, you're not going to need that on uh, stealth. So just grab the body bags and the extra cutter. Now, for the loadout. Now this, this depends uh, entirely on, on whether you want to massacre all of the civilians or not. <laughs> so... For my loadout, I've got my normal stealth build, which you're going to want to have. Uh, I've got the Raven shotgun with a silencer, Chimano 88 pistol with a silencer, Buzzer 2-piece suit, Molotov cocktail doesn't matter. Now, this is what does matter, the equipment. You can bring one of two things that are really going to help you. Either you can bring a trip mine, um, which is great for putting up and al alerting you to where guards are. Really good way to let you know uh, where they are when you're not there. Um, or... Like I said before, if you want to massacre everybody, um, body bags may be what you want to bring. But for this particular showcase, I'm going to do this with trip mines. So let's go on ahead and jump on in and take a look. All right, so we are into the arena. Let's see. Okay, so I got the good spawn on the body bags. I'll jump in. So it's going to be at the bottom of the stairs. Now, they can't spawn down here. If they spawn down here, just ignore them. It's a loss. Uh, security cameras. This is the door to the security cameras. There's two other spawns. There's one up there on the balcony. And there's one uh, up there at the top of the stairs. I'll show you once we get to it. Um, I usually just ignore this. Uh, just because it's it's another pager. I like keeping those pages and using them for other things. Because there's like 11 or 12 guards in total uh, patrolling the map. So, yeah. I like to save my pages for other things. So, as you can see, as um, soon as you come up here, we're just going to go, ooh. Okay. Grab that money. But yeah, as soon as we come in here, we're just going to go in the first concessions area. Now, in each of these kitchens, there's one guard and one civilian that likes to patrol around. Now, it's going to seem very easy to just go ahead and take out the guard and civilian. I wouldn't recommend it. There's one, two three, four, five kitchens. Um, so you're not, A, you're not going to have enough pages for all the guards in the kitchens. B, you're not going to have the pages to take out the guards in the loading area, which you're going to want to do. It is going to make life way easier on you. So I would recommend saving two pages for the guards in the loading areas. And then if you really want to, you can take out two other guards uh, in these other areas in the kitchens and stuff. Where are you going? So I don't think that has a red X on it. Ugh. Okay. Whew. That was risky business. I don't recommend doing that. I usually go through there. <laughs> that was that was pushing it. All right. Put up another trip mine. We're good to go. So. Loading area is down here. There's one of the guards. Um, let's see, did we get the radio this time? There's usually a radio or TV or something that'll spawn. Uh, and when you get that, you can interact with it. It'll make noise. There it is. No, coffee machine. Okay. Yeah, I don't think the coffee machine does the same thing. No, nah, it's just the radio. Ooh, is it? Yes. So, here's the TV. This should 
pull a guard over to turn it off. Probably when they're only within range. Ah, would you look at that? Both of them in the same spot. So let's go on ahead and get these pages taken care of. Yes, he told you the TV will pull them over. There we go. Good thing I've got that burglar deck. <laughs> it lets me answer two pages. Because uh, basically I can finish one within enough time to answer the other one. And that's all because of that TV. So, uh, where's the civilian at? He's right there. Are there any cameras out here? You're right there. Should be good. Get down. And then we'll go on ahead and stick your head in the wall. That way I won't run over you. No, what? Uh, whatever. That should be good enough. So the bottom's clear. Let's move on to the next kitchen. Um, now this guy can be useful to take out. Um, this is one of the exits. One of the exits will spawn here. Nice. Um, but if the exit spawns in another place, um, oh, there we go. Yeah, if the exit spawns in another place, then basically you'll be taking out uh, a guard for nothing. So you might want to just go ahead and save your pager uh, so that you can deal with him when the time comes. Okay. Drop the trip mine. That way we know where he is. Oh, there he is. Okay, where are you going, buddy? Yep, you're coming down. Wait for you to pass, and then... Head on upstairs. Woo! That door does not have a red X. Don't forget to double check these two doors here. Uh, sometimes they can have... Um, sometimes they can have C4 in them. Usually they don't, but when they do, it can be a pain in the ass to forget them. Alright, let's move on. Here's another guard. Another guard civvy pair. Uh, one civvy at the bottom of the stairs at a t-shirt booth, and then this guard that, like, fucking it does the PP pee, pee dance all the time. He never stops moving. He's constantly moving. Um, okay, so he's gonna keep going upstairs. So let's go on ahead. Nope. You see shit. Oh! Okay. When he gets alerted, you're just gonna have to take him out. Um, it's unfortunate when that does happen, but there is no tying him up. If this if this guy gets alerted here, uh, the guard will spot him if you tie him up. Trust me, I've tried. So let's see. See if we can get this guy trip mine. Nope, you're gonna do that. Okay then, fine. Fuck you. Let's do this then. Bam, trip mine. Okay. Now we got another guard here. He likes to constantly patrol and his patrol route is down the stairs over to here he'll patrol to that doorway and then he'll patrol back around here that's his patrol path um so i'll just go on ahead drop a couple of trip lines keep him lit up so i don't have to deal with him all right oh hi let's take you out this is the place yeah, this guy I like to take out just because he's a pain in the ass to deal with. I mean, just plain and simple, that's really the only reason. He's just a pain in the ass to deal with. Um, oh, there we go. Okay. Was there another closet back here? No? Okay. Let's keep going. Yeah, I've tried just putting up C4 and keeping him marked. But he just, he's, he's a pain in the butt. I think I, I think I did it one time where I, I put up C4 and uh, was able to get around him no problem. All right, now, we're done with here. We've got one more place to check, and that is across the way over there. Um, there's two kitchen, or there's two food booths 
that are connected by one kitchen. Now, there's two different ways to get there. And it looks like I may have opened up the way to get there. Because there's that booth right there. And there's also, if you come out here, you can unlock this door. Make sure you don't put shape charges down. Uh, there's that booth right there. But, whichever civilian spawns in it, he is a permanent spawn. He does not move. He sits there and doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so, here's what we're going to do. Looks like the guard is... Yep, okay. So, down that way, that's the eventual way that we're going to go. That's where the... Uh, the pyrotechnics booth is. Um, there are two guards that like to patrol around. They'll walk out here, sometimes walk down to here, walk back through. Um, so keep an eye out for those two guards. Because that's pretty much all you have to deal with through there. We got this one guard in here. Uh, mark that. Alright. No civvy, no civvy, no civvy. Okay. Nice. Found the last closet. Ooh, yeah. Give me that C4. Nice. Okay. Now we go back downstairs. We've already taken out those two guards. So all we have to do is just make sure not to get spotted. So let's let's chill and let's send out a pulse. See if we can mark the guard. Perfect. One more one. All right. Now I know what you're gonna want to do. You're going to want to just fucking book it back down to the bottom. Don't. Patience. Patience is key. Patience is very important. Where's this other guy at? So he's gotten lit up. I think the other guard's that way. So I think I can go on ahead, jump down this way, and just skip that other guard. Yep. Yep. There he is, he just went up to the top of the stairs. See? See why the trip mods are so useful on this map? There's so much shit going on. Having these trip mines placed up to mark people lets you know exactly where they are. It's extremely helpful. Grab that. Alright, buddy. I'm gonna need you to move. In fact, I bet you. No, I'm not going to be able to go that way. Let's go back this way. Jump down here. Where'd he go? Where's that guard at? Oh, it's back there. Okay. Alright, so here is why we took out both guards and the civilian down here. Because we have... We have to drive this forklift to these areas. Let's see if I can do this without running the civilian over. Don't know if this is going to happen. <laughs> okay. That should be good. Alright, so we're positioned underneath this. So, jump up onto the forklift and place the C4. This is why we went and searched through all of those closets for the C4. We need it for this. Next one's going to be under there. Alright. So I'm going to drop a camera loop on you. Now this is one of the only heists that I ever actually used camera loop on before the new skills came along. And made it really easy to get. Yep. Going ahead and C4 this. C4 that. And then we got a couple more right there, so... Reapply. Oh! Stuck on that. That. There. And there. Okay. Now we gotta get all the way back up to the top yet again so up we go gotta be extremely patient this is this heist is an exercise of patience let's see if i can get Woo, ba 
baby. Don't do that. That, <laughs> that was an example of impatience. Almost fucked myself there. I got lucky. Oh man, an extra second in front of that guy and I would have been fucked. Okay. So you're going up the stairs so we can just run around you. Gotta love those fucking trip mines. You're all the way around there. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna run past you. Alright, this time we're gonna wanna go this way. Because we want to get through here. So, while that's going on, trip mine. And trip mine. Okay, sneak back around here. Through here. Now there's one guard that will patrol around here. He will not um hold on one sec. I have to turn the sound down here, um, just because uh, the music will flag this video and it, like you won't be able to see it if you're in Germany. Um, so if there's anyone in Germany that wants to watch this guide, uh, that's why I gotta silence it. Um, okay, so yeah, there's this one guard that'll patrol around. He's not an issue, so don't worry about killing him. Um, you can actually tie up this civvy right here. Yeah, you can tie this guy up right here. And he's not that big of a deal. So let's wait. Woo. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. Seriously, get down. Okay. Jesus Christ. Now, here's what we're going to do. We set up this laptop here, um, and then we basically do the pyrotechnics for the show. Uh, so we set up the laptop, um, and then the guy will come in, and he'll tell you to pick up this earpiece. You pick it up, talk to him, and he says which one to hit. Like, he might go, like, left, center, and then you click, click. Um, and then that sets off the pyrotechnics. And then you can blow up the explosive down th downstairs, and the pyrotechnics mask the explosion. Okay, so here he goes. He says, hey, asswipe, stop scratching your crack and grab the intercom. Bam, you answer it. And he goes, okay, so when I give you the nod, you hit it. Um, okay, so now they're all active. Don't hit it too early. Wait for him to tell you which one you need to hit. He goes, hit it. Uh, console right and left. Bam. So, console right and left, you've got a decent amount of time to hit it, um, so don't feel too rushed. It's not going to be the end of the world if it takes an extra couple of seconds. Okay, they're active again, and let's see what we got. Um, hit it, right, and left. Bam. Done and done. So, uh, yeah, we do this a couple of times. I think it's three times, like basically once for each piece of C4. And here we go again. Middle and right. Awesome. So there's that C4 set off. Boom. We got one of the safes. Uh, we got one of the bellies of the safes opened up. Um, what is he talking about? But yeah, so you just do this two more times. Uh, so I'll just go on ahead and cut to the end of it. Hey, there we go. All right, so we are almost done. We've got the show complete. Uh, like I said, don't worry about him. He'll patrol around. You can just leave this guy here tied up. See, watch. He walks behind. He's not going to spot anything through that glass. Don't know how that works, but whatever. Um, all right. So now we need to head back downstairs. Oh, grab that. Awesome. Hey. All right. 
Good thing we got those trip mines up, keeping everyone lit up. Beep beep. Beep beep. Fucking love these things. Where you going, buddy? Beep beep. Sweet. Let's go this way. Where are you at? Alright, I'm just gonna wait. He's lit up. Where's the guy on the stairs? Oh, there he is. Okay. So let's wait for him to turn around. Go back downstairs. In fact, should I? Nah, I'm gonna wait. He's up there. He's about to go back downstairs. Beep beep. There it is. We'll jump. Awesome. Gotta love these fucking trip mines. Extremely helpful on this map. Not very many maps that I actually use these trip mines on. Most of the time I'm bringing body bags or ECMs or something. Um, ooh. What did you do? Why are you patrolling like that? Oh my god. It's like his patrol path is just set to random. I hate this guy. Okay. So. You're going downstairs. Jump over that. Jump over that. And we are downstairs. Okay. So. Here comes a fun part. Now. We're going to put these cutters here. This is why I grabbed the extra cutters. It'll, it'll make things go a lot quicker. Um. Now, I am going to need to camera loop that. Um, the, the camera will not get alerted by the cutters cutting into the bottom of the safe. And it also won't be alerted by money bundles. But it will be alerted by you. And I think if it's anything like other cameras, it will also be alerted. Uh, it will be also alerted by bags. So we'll just stick these cutters on here. And let them do their thing and we'll wait. Okay, cutters are done. Let's go and loop this again. I don't think that it will actually see that. But, just be on the safe side. I don't want it to spot me. So, come on dude. Jump up. Grab that. Money falls out. Sweet. More money falls out. Sweet. And then we'll put this cutter... On there. Awesome. Now, money bags. Let's go ahead and bag this up and let's move them. Okay, so. Where are we going? Capitol Hill Candy. Capitol Hill Candy. Okay, so. That's very important. You gotta listen to what he says. He will tell you where your shit's going. Because you, obviously, you'll have the, the, the finger up there. But, look at this. So, we got red squares here. We don't want to go that direction. Where are the other ones? Uh, that one is the lobby. We're not going to bother with that one. Um, Capitol Hill Candy. There it is. Just toss the money into there. And then we'll be able to go up. Hit a little shoot up there. I'll show you in a few seconds. Um, and it will just spit all the money out at us. So, let me... Let me go on ahead and finish cutting into all of these. By the way, uh, in case you haven't figured it out, you will have to move uh, the forklift to get underneath the safes. That's the only way that you can reach this stuff. You can't do it just standing on the ground. So you will have to move the forklift. But yeah, let me go on ahead and finish all these out. And, uh, and then I'll show you what to do from there. Okay, now just to prove that this camera does not spot money bundles. See that money bundle right there? I'm right next to it. I'm getting spotted. It won't spot the bundle, so don't worry about the bundle sitting in front of the cameras. Not a big deal. Bags, on the other hand, and you, those will get spotted. Do worry about those. Okay, so there's the last one uh, for Cotton Candy Hill. So now, we're going to go up here. We got a couple of things we got to do. So first off, we want to take care of this guy. Um, which is going to be the best way to do this? How about... Whew. Almost fucked that up. Had he been one of the trigger-happy retards, uh, we would have fucked that up real quick. 
So. That is our last pager. Toss the body bag in here. And then into this room we go. So. This is where we want to stash the loot. Now remember how we tossed all those bags into that vent? Well, check this out. Blah, 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 blah. It just barfs all the bags at us. And then we just carry them over here and toss it up into there and bam, loot is secured. Now I just gotta do that for all, uh, oh gosh, what would that be? Because there's two in each one, 18. All 18 bags, there we go. That was actually a lot easier than I thought. All right, so let me go on ahead and loot this stuff. All right, there we go. That's the last of the bags. Answer the call. And bam. All right, now we are officially demasked. So, just walk out the door and walk on out. Avoid any guards. Show's over. Oh gosh. Uh. Uh. They're closing in on me. Okay, where's he going? Ooh. Oh, can't get out that way. It's been a while since I've done this. I forgot how much of a maze this is. Yep, they can certainly spot you. So... So I want to go over here. Wait for this guy to come back. Now we walk back through. Stand in line. Hey! Trying to get it. Ooh, a mask! <gasps> I want it. Oh, can I go out this way? Hell yeah, I can. And bam, we are out of here. Booyah! And there it is. That is the Alesso Heist Stealth Mode on one down. See what we get. Spending cash, 2.5 million. Not bad. What about experience? What are we getting? Okay, so contract is 52. Risk bonus puts us up to 780. Skill bonus puts us up to 1.1. And gauge bonus gives us another, another 11,000. So not bad. Not not a bad bit of experience. So yeah, just to recap, you go into the arena, look for the closets with the red X's, make sure to drop some trip mines so that you can keep people spotted and stuff. Um, let's see, once you find all the C4, go into the loading bay, take out the guards and the civilian down there, uh, plant the C4, go up to the top, run the pyrotechnics booth, uh, blow up the C4 at the same time, go back downstairs, loot the camera if you have to, put the cutters on there, bag the money, go and drop it in the correct vent. Make sure to pay attention to that. It's very easy to toss it into the wrong one. Um, drop it into the correct vent. Um, then, uh, then go to the exit point, toss the, or go to loot point, loot drop point, uh, toss the bags into the vent. Um, and then just walk out without getting spotted, and you are good to go. If you found this video to be helpful, go on ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.